Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement on this cold and rainy afternoon in the Pacific Northwest. But we are here for the, okay, it is the season five mid-season finale of Yellowstone, which I guess is Yellowstone episode eight? Eight, I think. And I went to see when the second half of the season we were dropping. November? Is that what I saw? November 2024? Mm -mm. If there's going to be that much time, just call it a season. That's like a year, practically. Just call it a season six. Let this be season five. Let that be season six. And let's just be done. <laughs> let's just be done with it. But Jamie's planning on impeaching John. Doesn't mean that John will no longer be governor, right? And half the ranch is heading down to the south. All over the south. Things are happening. It's Yellowstone. So thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. Hopefully I'll be able to speak and form a sentence that's coherent today, but uh, that's not, I don't think that's why you come watch me. <laughs> but we're gonna get to it. Under the big cozy blanket, I've got some seltzer on handy stand because it's early for me. I have all of you, and you're gonna remember that full episode watch along is available on Patreon. I would love to see you there. I don't know what we're getting into, but let's get to it. Okay, we are in the past, okay. I kind of want a series just this. Young John, young Rip, John making his way, trying to take over Yellowstone from the legacy of his grandfather and so on. Yes, I will be watching 1923. In the next week or so, I will be starting that. Don't worry, it's on my list. <laughs> Has anyone been down in whatever valley that is during the daylight? Because I'm sure here the only way to get there would be by actually walking. Now you got drones that you could just fly over and they just hit this spot and all the bodies. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a discovery? <laughs> what did he say? <coughs> About my daughter. What did he say? Oh. <laughs> You killed him over it. It must have been pretty bad. He talked about her... Something sexual? Yes, sir. Why did it bother you? You know, my daughter. He was a good hand, and now he's gone because he insulted you. But he didn't insult you. He insulted my daughter, which insulted you. Which leads me to my next question. Why do you care? Something going on between you and my daughter? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Long time ago, cowboys would drift in and get work on some outfit and disappear. A few months later, a whole chunk of the herd would disappear. Mm, mm. You find out real fast who's willing to ride for the brand when they learn they gotta wear it. Oh. You will have a home till the day you die. Unless. <laughs> or this ranch is no more. I guess the uh, till the day you die is what determines the unless part of it. Yeah, the day you die, not how you die. <laughs> it's ready. That looks super tiny compared to the ones they pull out now. <laughs> it looks like a little baby brand. So how many of these cowboys are wearing it? Yeah, cheers. cheers. Welcome. Let's deal the kid in. Hell yeah. Now all these cowboys, only Lloyd and Rip are left. Now I know not all of them wear the brand, but what happened to the ones that did? Mm-hmm. Oh! How did cowboys get up at three in the morning? For we were back in Texas. I was like, who is this? It looks like, what's her name? That's a good way to miss breakfast altogether. Back around noon. You forgot something, honey. This is a test, too, in case you were wondering. I don't think that the city 
Move slow enough for me. So I'm gonna leave now and I yeah, you don't have time to walk down the hall. Just go. <laughs> I know that mama said, Miss Breakfast, Jimmy. Uh, apologies, sir. Well, don't apologize to me. I ain't the one with an empty stomach. Been yes, sir. <laughs> he doesn't keep a protein bar in the cupboard and stick with him on just such an occasion. So if you haven't figured out by now, my brain sometimes goes stream of conscious. So we're in Texas. Half of Yellowstone's heading down to Texas because of the bad grass. And then I just realized John's land's the size of Rhode Island, right? So out of all that land, he doesn't have any spare place for his cows to go. So most of his land then isn't ranchable. It's just there to protect other things from butting up against it. Is that it? That whole... No other, no other grass at all. Seems, the math is not adding up for me. Because I was just thinking, there's a lot of herds. What if the situation was reversed? Four sixes needed to take cattle up north. Oh, there's Jan's ranch because he's got the size of Rhode Island. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, I say stop grubbing. Your work day ain't over, Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, they did officially get married. No, that is out of bounds. Stop it. No. You are not in a position to negotiate. No. Okay, 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 okay. Meanwhile. Guitar <laughs> with broken string. That's you, I'll be the What is? What is the average lifespan of a ranch cattle? Ranch cattle cow. Dairy cows, I'm sure it's a few years as long as they keep producing milk, but cattle, 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 cattle. Is it three years? I want to thank you for what you said to me. I've leaned on it every day since you said it. And... You know, I think sometimes God gives us tragedy so we can pass along how we survived it to next generation sufferers. And maybe someday all that knowledge leads to no tragedies at all. If. What a world that would be, huh? If. <laughs> I got something to ask Casey, but we both know who wears the pants in your deal, so I'm just going to cut out the middleman. I need Rip with the cattle, and I have no one to run this place. Next to the reservation is what's called East Camp. But it's yours if you'll take it. I need his help. I need it from all in. We can help. Thank you. That's all you ever had to do, you know. Just ask. <laughs> well, now I know. <laughs> Their little family has moved so much, so much. Can you come tomorrow and get the rest on the road? Let me just ask my wife. Yeah, you do that soon. Whatever she says, stick to it. <laughs> Tends to be the safest move. <laughs> You're stronger than I was. <laughs> Guess that's how it's supposed to be. I love you, son. Oh, John's John's feeling things. He's got things going. I think he was the one leaving. He is. He is. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I wonder if he'd make the um <laughs> the driver wear the brand <laughs> to ensure his fealty. Ladies and gentlemen of the legislature and the Senate. Thank you. Oh, where's where's John? Oh, this is oh, this is Thomas's. Okay. So while John's supporting the reservation, Jamie's trying to take him out. Oh, what timing? Yeah, what timing? Well, this is getting interesting. Well, this is how bad I don't want a pipeline on my land. I can only, I can only imagine you feel the same. You imagine right. All right, so who starts this deal? You're the governor? I leave that to you. Well, it's your land they're talking about wrecking. 
I want to introduce you. <laughs> this what comes from winging things, John. I have called this emergency meeting of the assembly to address an egregious act of dereliction. Governor Dutton has violated state law. Question. Isn't it the attorney general's job to warn other parts of the state legislature, whoever's making laws, that you're violating certain laws? Which I know he kind of sort of did, but also argued against it and argued both ways. So I would see, say some of those faults could lie at Jamie's feet. Threatens to extinguish our state's single biggest generator of revenue, tourism. And how many people believe tourism is their biggest, or should be their biggest revenue? Progress. It uh, seems that's all I ever talk about. I never talk about it. And when something benefits one group over another group, you can't use that word anymore. You must use another word. You must use bias. You must use favoritism. Well, this is an interesting approach to your speech, John. But it could lead to disastrous effects to the land and the people this pipeline runs beneath. I cannot support that endeavor and will use the full weight of my office to prevent it from happening. That the Attorney General's office under Article 5 and Section 13 of the State Constitution is requesting a Senate tribunal seeking impeachment. Thank you, Governor. You uh, took my whole speech. <laughs> <laughs> he spoke about improving the quality of life here. Oh my God. If I'd known this was going to happen, I wouldn't have come. This moment isn't about me, and I won't let it be. The issues facing this reservation are real. Keep your focus on the issue of the day because it will still be one tomorrow. Thank you. Very well said. Very well said. I think Jamie made lots of enemies today. His entire impeachment claim is conjecture. Sometimes conjecture is all you need to get started. The truth prevails. Does it? Does it? I kind of fight, Claire. Well, if truth won't win it, I don't know what will. Menace. I don't know how to fight with menace. Oh, John does. I'll teach you. <laughs> Oh, that was a line. Oh, that was a response. I wasn't, oh, now Beth, are you gonna hear about this? Because Beth's all alone and her boundary keeper is gonna be gone for a year. This pipeline thing should be right up Summer's Alley. Don't touch my Tito's. <laughs> I drink scotch. Of course you do with your hairy fucking armpit. You touch my peanut M&Ms in the freezer, I will kill you in your sleep. I sleep with a knife and I have a peanut allergy. You know, we might make it through this. <laughs> if you're done insulting me, I have something I need to show you. That the Attorney General's office under Article 5 and Section 13 of the State Constitution. Good job, Summer. You have deflected her. Rerouted. Rerouted. The assembly voted 67 to 33 in favor. Now that subjects Governor John Dutton to the first impeachment tribunal in the state's history. Oh, Beth is gonna destroy you. <laughs> They're just trying to take care of the animals now. <laughs> they don't give a shit about Jamie. <laughs> Everything else outside, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Where does this girl come from? She's just walking about, just walking about. You pulling out? <laughs> My family pulled out about an hour ago. Okay, so she was camping. If, if your family's gone, how are you gonna get home? I have a truck here. <laughs> you, can, you can drive? <laughs> of course, how old do you think I am? Yeah, how old are you? Wait, how old are you? <laughs> What time are you done working? Never. It's not cold in Texas, is it? You think it's cold, huh? You're gonna freeze the fuzz off them little pipes down there. 
You won't call a 20 mile an hour wind a wind after a winter down there, guys. You gonna miss me? I don't know how to answer that considering I was forced into this relationship. I got it handled here, brother. I know you do. You need anything, you let me know. You too, man. You play a little hold'em? Yeah, we ain't got nothing better to do. Gonna make it there. <laughs> this just seems very ominous. Them riding off into the dawn or sunset or whatever direction it is now. This is that is Beth. She at Cassandra's house. It was the perfect speech. Oh, she's at Jamie's house. I don't think I've seen Jamie's house from now. Oh, look who's there. He's gonna fight. Mm hmm. She gave me a clue, James. It's my sister. I'll just ignore her. She'll go away. You don't know my sister. She's going to break in through that bedroom window. It's <laughs> <laughs> a term for this, Beth. It's called breaking and entering. She's got a rock in her hand. She has a rock in her hand. I'm sensing a replay of Rip. Yes, I do. Tomorrow, you will call. Crush yes, crushes. I do. Do you fucking understand me, Jamie? You will resign, or I am printing photos for the sheriff. No, you're not. How many bodies has your father put in the same spot? <laughs> there is a century's worth of our family secrets down at the bottom of that canyon. Bullshit. Ask him. Ask your husband where the train station is and how many times he's been there. Sarah has to die. She's so gonna die. Beth's gonna have to kill her. The airport was the only option, and you fucking know it! Well, I am guaranteeing the ranch is passed down to Tate, to my son, that is the promise that I made. The greatest threat to that ranch is our father. We'll remove the threat. Bet you're one expensive hooker. Enjoying your marionette. Every inch of him. Okay. So it's war. War's over, Beth. No, Jamie. War is just beginning. Mm-hmm. 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 Is this my favorite part of the show? No, it's not. <laughs> but at least Beth makes it entertaining. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she going now? Is the governor's mansion? That's just unlocked group that funds the radio collar studies of wolf packs in the park and they say that the data indicates that the wolves could have been killed on governor john dutton's yellowstone ranch Jesus. It's, it's a hit piece clara mm -hmm. they smell blood in the water who smells blood everyone <laughs> well maybe you should take him to the train station how did Beth not know about the train station? She was there waiting for him. She was there waiting for him. What do you want to know? What is it? Exactly. It's the trash can for everyone who's attacked us. No jury of your peers and no court for a change in venue. Why are you so surprised? Mm-hmm. Where do you think the men who attacked you in your office and attacked our ranch went? Jamie knows about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that, Dad. Jamie knows about it. I'm aware, Beth. If there is a place our enemies go and nobody ever knows they went, then they will never come back.
then I think that's the place for Jamie. Well, that will raise a lot of suspicious. Suspicions now is timing. This timing. This timing. So Beth spins the tale that Jamie was sleeping with the enemy and felt so distraught that his secrets were found out he killed himself. What do you think she'll do next? I think she'll try to have me killed. Uh, come on. You really think so? And you. And you do. Do you... Do you know anyone or...? You assign yourself security, Jamie. Well, that, that's playing defense. Mm-hmm. What if I want to play offense? Your pops tried this, Jamie, and you saw how well that turned out. There's one in New York and there's one in Virginia. They're professionals. I guess the ones that his dad hired weren't exactly professional. It'll look like a heart attack. Now, the ones that they had, Marco Equities hired to take out Dan Jenkins. Where were they from? You're smiling like the cat that ate the canary. Didn't know I was. You got a big old shit-eating grin on your face like you spent the night in some girl's arm. I do? Yeah. They starting younger and younger. <laughs> How do you know about East Camp? Your father told me. Said it was ours if we wanted. Is that what you want? I don't want to go back to a rented house and stare at a nursery that isn't filled. I'd rather move it. Start over and try again, you know? Well, I'd be living under this again. I live under anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, we'll take a look at it then. <laughs> Casey, bring up another load! So we left off on a humdinger of a cliffhanger and we started in an odd spot. We reconnected with Jimmy down at the four sixes. So the second half of the episode, are we going to get more of four six in it? No, we had the prequel. I guess we really started with back when Rip got his brand part of the ranch forever. <clears throat> then we moved to Jimmy who's got the brand who's no longer the ranch. Is he going to be pulled back in somehow? Remains to be seen because this show has a history of starting a thread and they're just dropping it all of a sudden. I'm surprised Beth let the Sarah Atwood not being Sarah Atwood thing go so easily. Didn't catch on. Well, she knew she caught on saying this is your puppet. So she knows who Sarah Atwood works for but didn't hammer in on that yet. <laughs> Beth could do anything at this point. Who knows? How does John get out of this one? Could go any direction as well. And then poor Thomas is just trying to get his people basic things <laughs> and it's just Oh, Thomas, 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 Thomas. I do, though, like seeing how, no matter how far him and John try to go, whoop, they keep having to work back together. I love that. That's a little twist that I so enjoy. When do we pick back up? That's the big question also is, half the crew is away for a year, but this impeachment thing and Jamie and wanting to kill each other, that's not gonna disappear in a year. I mean, they'll have to get on to that now. What's Summer actually doing as far as the environmental thing? <laughs> and how did Beth not know about the train station? She met Jamie. She was there before he got there. Because if she followed him, he would have seen her. The mayor. How did she not know? Especially after the whole Attacking her in her office and the bomb scare, the bomb threat, not to mean a scare, the bomb 
She would have heard about it. Hmm. Yeah. And we have to wait till November. <laughs> okay. Okay. So until then, don't be a stranger. Like, as I said, I'm going to be starting 1923 soon. Um, as well as a bunch of other stuff. Past, present, justified anyone? Mm hmm So I would love to see you there. So make sure you hit subscribe so you know when the next video drops. And in the meantime, as always, please take care of yourself. I hope you have five seconds of joy today. I hope this was your five seconds plus plus of joy. And if not, just take a moment to breathe, get some toast, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.